it's, it's a short uh, thing about comparing ratings uh, for migrations, but also for more. Um, I explained this in my scriptures yesterday, what it's about. Um, and it's when when you compare training, it's from rough to fine, and it's of course for preparing the trainings itself, but you can also use the thing to gather information. Um, and what I should have added here, also to get uh, it, it's a kind of communication tool. I should have added it here. Communication tool because when you uh, ask users information about uh, what they need, it is a sort of message. Yes. So, when do I usually gather information? It's initially during the very first meeting that you, uh, when they anyway talk about it in the first meetings, to get some rough idea when planning the project or migration that you know uh, the amount of use a rough idea for the skills because that's some uh, initial information if you talk and think okay uh, what what efforts do we have to make and what might the costs involved be so it's in the first meetings also uh, after the first steps are done and you have your planning and your communication in the line that you really need information before the pilot phase. So that's uh, the moment that gathering information is relevant. Why? As I said, it's for the initial ideas of the project's scope. Uh, and it's to learn of the needs of the users. So, um, and it's, it's input for the pilot. Uh, the pilot is something that uh, might meet Trainings, uh, but it also gives you details to handle in the migration. And when you are gathering information mainly from the users and maybe team leaders, uh, the information that I always appreciate is type documents when you ask users, okay, do we have any special documents that you think are uh, quite odd or really important for your work or special that other people might not have, things like that. When you ask that to users, that they might come up with stuff that, that gives you indeed an impression of what are the needs of special users or groups but also can give you some information on workflow and on maybe, maybe applications that they work with it, 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 it's, it's really a useful source of information so it, it's, it's more than just counting the number of users we have and so we need uh, 20 hours or 5 mornings to, to learn those people about the inter office people uh, working. Uh, so, the, the needs uh, that, that uh, the planning of the needs it's, it's about uh, the training, the general migration training. Of course, there are groups, there might be groups that need some uh, expert courses. In general, in the, in the migration, there are moments that you say, okay, we have, we have some workshops or there are a few time slots that we are available in the, in the location. Just drop in and you can come with your additional questions, but that's further on in the, uh, in the time. Uh, but also, I think it's, it's an important thing to consider when you are gathering information and how you handle it with your sales. Because uh, when, we, when we look at the, the, the export courses, uh, you can play a little bit with it. If you say, okay, we, we offer some uh, trainings that you expect uh, that are sort of enough, but that you also expect, well, maybe later on there will come up more needs and they call me again for extra trainings, or maybe people. I'm interested to really 
really uh, uh, enhance the skills and come to a training location. So that are also things to discuss, or to, uh, not to discuss with, with your partners there, but to consider on your own. In my opinion, uh, when you plan trainings, it's also, uh, you can play a bit and hope that it does some extra things with selling additional trainings and courses. Um, so, input for your trainings, input for your uh, for the planning of the, the migration itself, the two links, documents, and communications to the users that they uh, feel, okay, they really need my information, so apparently I'm important enough to that they ask me questions so that I can give my ideas. That's in, in, in three the, the main pillars of, of the uh, idea when preparing the trains. So, any uh, questions, any additional experiences? Do you, do you give trains? Uh, yes, I do. Absolutely. A lot? Oh, it's part of the part, part of the whole migration chain. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is part of sales, yeah. yeah. You're right. Uh, but I didn't understand how, how what was your uh, idea to, to take the sales uh, idea in the in the planning, in the, in the profile for, for There's a chance to sell more trains, yes. Yes, but why? Why and how? Well, when you, when you first get information and you know, okay, we have so many people and we have the general migration instruction, half day, two hours, depending on the groups, and then you plan some trains for heavy car users to do a lot of things with special documents, uh, but you can do it uh, a bit limited initially in the hope or in the expectation that people find out because it is different software and they need more skills to play with it. it. Yeah, you have to play with it because uh, in, in the most times the expectations of the customer about trainings yeah. are very low. They give you an, an um, amount of half a day or such a thing for yeah. one, one user. You say, okay, it's possible to do that. Yes. And afterwards, you have the, the fact that they want to learn more. Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah, that's more or less. Well, well, sometimes the customer indeed says it's okay that you uh, that they really expect to give you more trainings, but then still you can to say, okay, we do it uh, on the spot there, or, or in my situation, we have a training center separate, and where people can have day courses or multiple day courses. Yeah. I got uh, good experience with the sales argument. Um, that often it's the first time that end users get an office training. Yes. Um, before, when they use the Microsoft, <coughs> they have to, to do the, the learning work for their own. Yes. And uh, you have the, the, a good argument and the, and for, for the migration itself is uh, to give them a dedicated uh, yeah. training. Happy. Yes, it's the first time that I really learned something about how an office document works. Yeah. And in, with, with people that do more uh, spreadsheet work, they often did some training or some courses, but in, in, in the text documents, it's, it's astonishing. So, little knowledge. Oh. Absolutely. And, and one of the challenges is when people switch from words to writer is that they uh, see that some things behave different or that some documents look different uh, but basically they have close to no idea what they did in work and so with no knowledge at all how can you manage changes in the different environments so 
indeed, that, that's an important argument. But initially, say, okay, uh, explain the suite, it's, it's almost the same, and, and uh, it's not that much, but be prepared that there are groups of people that need some more. My problem in the small office environment is that the people don't want training. They resent it. All they're interested in is, uh, is just processing their documents and they complain that uh, writer doesn't work the same as Word. And then they come up with examples which are so difficult that no one can answer them. Yeah. Uh, or then, uh, the, you know, they have never learned to use Word properly either, so they, they mix soft and hard styling and yes. uh, a common example is, is often that in, in, uh, uh, in calc, you know, the line, uh, the frames, they have different widths and then when it's printed it looks different than on the screen, all sorts of things like that. Yeah. Uh, but they're not interested in solving the problems, they're just yeah. interested in doing their work in as little time as possible. And, and, and what, what organization is that? It's it's just a, sm a, a small office of a foundation with, yes. with three employees, but the employees are not interested in learning anything, they're just interested in doing their work. Yeah. Uh, and if the management then uh, comes and says, you, we must do some training, yeah. then you know, they say, well, we'll do an hour's training. <coughs> To do training means I lose half a day of being able to get up and do what I normally exactly. do. Yeah. So, but I, I get so many documents that are badly laid out. Some people typically use multiple tabs to try and line columns up instead of putting a table in. Yeah. And, and if only they would had half a day training, then the rest of their life would be so much easier yeah. and be so much more effective. Yeah. So right. if, if, if they would but it's, it's, not, it's not really a migration problem, it's a problem that people aren't interested in doing something properly in the first place. They're just interested in, yeah. in, doing, in spending as little time as possible. And when, when they can blame some old office product, they will blame that. And when they don't have a different office product to blame, they will blame the weather or the... or, or whatever. But the, the, the answer, it, that's the message. Yeah, that, that's the idea. They're not interested, so they just blame anything that's available. Or yes. but the answer of what Microsoft Office uh, or the ecosystem of Microsoft Office is giving is uh, such things like uh, other media's like a uh, server with um, video clips for special uh, problems, like two or three uh, minutes uh, long, and you learn how to. Um, change the, the, the thickness of a, of, a, of a line and so on. But uh, these solutions are very expensive in the, in the uh, mm -hmm. area. In France we have a lot of uh, small video to show which one does that. We have a lot of video to do some uh, basic stuff in the office. And uh, it works like uh, those video like uh, at least but uh, small video to uh, do it in the office and uh, see. It's very really good for them. And how, how long are the videos? I don't know with the check, I think it's uh, less than 10 minutes. Of okay, short. Sure. But you'll still get the user who says, I don't want to have to go through all that material. Yeah. I just want to know how, where, where the pick is to do the same thing that I used to do in Word. Yeah. But I, the only thing I can think of for if you boil it down to that sort of user, then offer to make that user your beacon user. Would you want to be champion the office user? We can give you training so that when your colleagues say, I can't find the, the menu click that does this, you're the one they can just lean over to and say, make them the champion. If they're the ones who are resisting most, yeah. give them an opportunity to be a hero yeah. and to lead. So, sometimes, it, it, sometimes that works. Yeah. We know sometimes it works. And then what you said before, it, it, it's when, when you can, can get across the message, okay, we, uh, we are starting with migration and it, it's a lot of life and some things are different so we want to give you an end training and it's also our experience uh, for many people that have had trainings uh, in, in that within such a training uh, we give some basic uh, ideas or instructions that will make life of many office users 
much easier when you can bring across the dead persons. It helps too. And, and somehow I always try to uh, try to communicate, but it, it's not easy because uh, basically you're saying, okay, guys, we have, we have a new product for you, and you need some expression. Oh, and by the way, the way you worked always was uh, crappy. <laughs> Which is, of course, not fully true, but that, that, that's a sort of somehow it's okay. It, it's quite funny. And last year I had a training and we did some uh, basic courses and some special trainings, blah blah blah. And then the, the people find out after a lot of struggle that uh, when they, they didn't pay enough attention with the trainings or with, with, were busy with the emails or didn't look through the documentation again. So we prepared some extra sessions and that were sessions of say half an hour, three quarters of an hour and we had about ten teams uh, based on formatting, getting rid of automatic uh, auto-correction, uh, PDF, uh, well, a, a, a sort of ten, uh, ten topics we had and we planned I think it might have been uh, over, over three weeks time, four weeks time we planned uh, seven half days. So that uh, topic one uh, was offered three or four times. Uh, so each topic, each topic was offered multiple times. So it was short and people had more uh, opportunities to step in. Uh, without having to make uh, hours available from their precious time, etc. So it, it was a great offering and very little people made use of it. Well, not that much, but it, it's also an approach that's uh, interesting. I can uh, share the uh, information. So is it more useful to, to get a group together and say, let's use the, the documents that you've been creating and we'll show how to create those in LibreOffice. Or is it better to get a group together and say, here are some example documents which we'll use as tutorials. This, this one uses Calc to create, to create an invoice. So it, it will go through merging cells, cell auto, auto sizing, it will go through you know, text fonts, it will go through adding an image in, it will go through putting a Graph somewhere. What would be your answer, your answer to the question? I think providing them with a, with, a, with a tutorial that they can work towards completing a known document okay. because it may introduce to them ideas and ways of approach mm -hmm. uh, a page layout that they would never have got to themselves because they're only okay. ever repeating the one and same thing that they can do. Okay. But they produce a report where they go through for every header, they go through and make that one bold and a, and a different font, and they do that for every bloody thing through yeah. there, rather than having the header style yeah. and then just changing the header style. Yes. Yeah. Because they never find out, you know, yeah. discover so the, themselves. Yeah. There are things to cover, but uh, the first approach, working with their own documents, of course you have to explain the better, uh, the better approach, uh, the better way of working. But when you use the wrong documents, maybe uh, you get them more involved, more attention, because they really see how oh, it's my work. I agree absolutely. Uh, it's both. Uh, we answer this question uh, in this way that we do classical trainings with uh, example documents, uh, uh, which, which are for these. And afterwards, we uh, do uh, how do I it in such like flow service. Mm -hmm. They get the, they get the chance to okay, to go to the um, test, uh, and there are five or six hours where they could ring up and say, "Hey, could you come to my test?" Yes. And uh, we do mail merge on my test with my complete. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, you, you could take the champion LibreOffice user along with you so that they could see you providing the training and they would 
see the interpreter. And who want to be interpreting, they bring on a call from the me. So there's more turbo room for the champion than just for the future users. Yeah. And you come across users who tend to use Word as a file and Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, when you do file only in Word, then in, in the dialog you can rename, delete, copy, paste, whatever, with files. And, 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 well, I never use that, but sometimes you come across in, in training people that I used to work like that, just uh, the, the file dialog in Word as file manager. Yeah. And it's, it's unbelievable for people that you miss out on a difference, different window, different application. Yeah. They just can't accept that. Some people, uh, so, doesn't work, yeah. Yeah, you have to do it again, uh, you have to do it in a different way, and in three days they call up, they call again to the office, yeah, and they write up, uh, uh, crash my document, or <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> it, it, it would be kind of interesting if, um, I, know, I know maybe this is asking too much because you're all separate. But if if um, if you were to at some point get together and compare notes and and find where the user your typical user having the most difficulty with LibreOffice uh, transitioning from Word to to LibreOffice, if you had something in common, because that could indicate that there is a deficiency with LibreOffice on on usage, like from the user point of view. Because you may, in fact, find um, with your migrations that you all have something in common yeah. that comes out of the office and where we could, for example, work on usage and make the use, use of the office a little more um, easier from the user. Like, for example, the tap, 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 right? If the user just like place their cursor there and and the table just appeared automatically to create, uh, rather than having to create the table and yeah. thinking about it, which is gesture based, and it would just kind of appear in the instance to use formats. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but it would be interesting to, to see if we all had something in common, like a common thread where a LibreOffice could help out uh, making usage a little simpler. It depends on how you, you look at it. Basically, there are no usability problems or shortcomings in LibreOffice. You know how to work with it. Uh, but I prepared uh, documents for a writer. Do I have an English person to make up? So, uh, um, how do we call it in Dutch? Um, the easy transition from word to writing. And it has. Uh, about eight or ten topics in it. When you need to format your page, you, do, you don't go to file page settings, but you format page. When you need headings, you don't go through all the, the headings in the documents, uh, uh, setting, setting the numbering in each style or whatever, but you go to tools, uh, outline numbering. Uh, and there are a few more things, uh, about ten or what. The main interesting uh, things that I find that people need to know because it's, it's really different in right and they symbol on what you say in English that they find difficult. Um, okay, there, 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 funny enough, there's a guy who posted, I think, about six or seven issues in Bugzilla on outline numbering and related stuff because it's different and hard to find and it should be improved. And of course it can be improved uh, visually, it can be made easier, but uh, we should go that far that you would throw away your own, your old, your existing, uh, in my opinion, excellent workflow just because people are used to do it differently in work. That's a separate discussion that doesn't belong here. But uh, I don't believe, but maybe you have examples that, that, that prove me wrong, but I don't believe that there are 
really basic short comments in LibreOffice that you say, oh, we see this pattern by so many users that that's really wrong and that we must improve. But maybe I use the, the wrong words and it's not so strong in my opinion. But do, do, do you have ideas yourself from what you say? Well, I, I've noticed things that, I've, that might be really uh, right, might really need improvement. Right. Um, okay. Maybe. 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 It's extremely easy if you do the proper way. Maybe. Maybe. And that's if you know. Yes. So that's one of the ten topics in my document. Prepare your database. It's always the same name is and if they cut the process.
If you're coming from the point of saving millions, you can justify surely yeah. some, some extra training. I mean, it, it, again, it's going to make those individuals twice as effective as they used to be from never having had training on work. Mm -hmm. Now they're twice as effective because they have had training on right time. Then that's got to be a huge payback. So you, you reap every year for maybe two, two, two hours or. So the good answer is that. Tim has to learn Dutch and do my studies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do very training. I'm not even very good user. <laughs> but it, 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 how do you work with that? Do you different in every occasion? I expect. Absolutely. Of course, you have your standard knowledge, and you know. Well, in ideal situation, we do we, we do it like that. But the ideal world doesn't exist in my country. <laughs> <laughs> may, may I ask to what, what's your name, sorry? I'm the ocean. And uh, from which country? Uh, I'm from here. You're from here, okay. And uh, so people are just not interested in your situation in getting instructions. Well, this is my private situation, but uh, I mean, it's even worse. Here at the university, for example, uh, uh, they almost do reverse migrations. Uh, Microsoft things. No one knows why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, just there is no training for students um, for software things. They're expected to do it all themselves. Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have a long way to go, and with good uh, marketing, making the office sexy and appealing, and people will all like to learn and go to our website and. Trains and then we Thanks for your. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say maybe the students need a, need a society, a club. There's actually yeah, a free train, free hot dogs. There's the for a, there's the tux party. party. Sorry? There's a student party called the tux party. Okay. But, um, yeah. you know, at the end, they don't actually do very much. <laughs> just eating hot dogs. Maybe free hot dogs is a bit dismissive. I will go for free bananas. Thank you. Thank you.